You think video games are just for kids? Well, think again. They now outsell movies. And the launch of a new game rivals even the most star-studded red carpet event. Teresa Lalonde reports. This football game is released every August. Last year, it outsold summer movies at the box office. Gaming is now the number one form of entertainment around the world. I think the biggest consumer entertainment that exists right now on planet Earth is World of Warcraft. That, that game, that one single game, is probably making Activision about 100 to $150 million a month. Victor Lucas says no one's more passionate than a hardcore gamer. And having an emotional connection to characters in games, the same way that kids 50 years ago had emotional connections to comic book creations or cartoons. Gamers interact with those characters directly and can have a say in what they look like. You could go on and design a basketball jersey um, as part of a contest, and that jersey, if it's chosen, has the potential to actually show up in the video game. Video games were well ahead of the curve with creating online communities. It makes sense. The fans already live online. Video games latched onto the internet a long time ago, and they recognized the value of uh, you know, countdowns to trailer releases. Gaming companies give their online fans bits of information about the game in forums and online newsletters. They run contests through Facebook. When the game is finally released, it's a big deal. We had Trevor Linden here in Vancouver and fans lining up at midnight to not only see the athlete but get the copy of the game first, meet some of the producers and developers who have become sort of mini celebrities uh, within that community. Jordan Nettlestein says just like movies, video games make the most money in a few weeks after the release. Some games sell 7 million copies and gross $350 million, the same amount made as the movie Pirates of the Caribbean. Teresa Lalonde, CBC News, Vancouver.